Let us look at using GeoGebra to deal with transformations. Open up Chrome. GeoGebra is a free software, but you can also run it in the Chrome browser if you can't download it to your computer. Go to GeoGebra.org and go to the download link. As you notice, they have a tablet app on the Android. They're coming up with an iPad app soon. You can do it as a Geo Chrome app, or you can install it on Windows, Mac, Linux. So if you can just run it in Chrome, that'd be great. So click on Chrome app. It wants to add it, so add it. And since we have Google Drive, it will also save to our Google Drive. So accept that. And it's opened up GeoGebra. So you're going to want to look through all the tools, file, new open, things to edit. Now it's got a graphic sheet here on the right and an algebra sheet on the left. As you type things, as you draw things, their algebra shows up. Options, the thing I use most in options is a font size, make it larger for us to see some things. New window when you want new stuff. GeoGebra Tube is a great thing to look at. It's people who have created lessons and ideas and drawings to check out. So here are the tools that we want to do. There's a point tool, so anything that might be a point like a midpoint or an intersection point. The line tool, line, segment, ray, vector, which we use for transformations. Parallel perpendiculars, polygons, regular polygon. Try not to make a regular polygon. Just make a just a polygon. Circle tools, different ways to make circles, ellipses, angles you can make or measure, measuring distance, measuring area, measuring slope, and then our transformation tools. Then there's some insert text, insert image, sliders allow you to use a variable, as in if you're doing y equals 2x, you could go y equals ax, and a would be a slider, and you can see what happens when it gets bigger, gets smaller, and then the move and zoom tools. So let us start with the polygon. Any old shape polygon. Notice over here, this is the algebra that's got the coordinates for each point. It's got how big the polygon is. That's 8.2, 8.2 in area. And each segment is measured. GeoGebra is a dynamic software. As you do things, it all changes over here on the left. Everything shows through. So let's start with a polygon. There we go. And let's do translation. Translate object by vector. Well, obviously, we need a vector. So let's go back to our line tools. And let's draw a vector. It says vector between two points. So apparently, we need two points. Uh, point E, point F. And here is what's uh, our vector, this U. Kind of looking strange, but those are actually X and Y aspects. The bottom one is the Y, the top one is the X. So it's going 2.04 to the right and 1.7 up. Let's drop it down here. It's going 1.16 to the right and 1.5 down. Okay. So there's that. So we just simply click on Translate by vector, click on the object we want to translate, and then the vector we have to translate it by, and there we go. It moved it. Now, you want to move it farther, just make your vector bigger. You want to move it a different direction, turn your vector. You want to double check some things. Our vector is. Doesn't say how big our vector. Oh, look, the polygon. The second one's the same size. The segments are the same. That would be an isometry. Things we could do. Can we measure the distance between A and A prime? Let's first measure E to F. E to F is 2.79. So how far do you think it is from A to A prime? 2.79. How about C to C prime? Better be the same, right? because the vector told us to move that far and in that direction. So if I change that, 
Let's see, 1.74, 1 1.74, so we've made it all. It's also a nice way to make a to make a three-dimensional polygon because you could just connect the corners and you've got your prism. Now D, let's talk about that. D should be a hidden line, shouldn't it? I want to get that out of the way. All right. So we need to make it hidden. So double click on that that line, and oh, the properties don't show up in this. Hmm. Well, in the software that you download, you can make D to D prime a dashed line. So there's using GeoGebra to make a translation.